what's going on guys it's lekton here and today i'm gonna be going over some uh some kind of like leaks i guess you could call them but basically it's this uh wish list that huz set up you know like a content creator wish list that we all contributed to which is pretty cool so let me read this really quick so it says list of the things that us content creators should have that will benefit us for the game and will help us promote bad business in the future so there's just like a ton of things that us content creators put here you know to like to show ethan was one of the devs for the game and here he responded to all the stuff uh so anyways let's get right into it this is like the things that we like want basically and then the reasoning why and then the devs notes are on the right here so creator code charms which i think you know should, should be added into the game for like some of the newer content creators that don't have a charm yet so you know lots of content creators have it ethan responded with these will be added but the credits are going away as a result so like the 500 credits you got before for using like a code use code lekton by the way you know you get 500 credits too like that that's going away and then randomize outfits to other users which i think is cool because like it could randomize your outfits so that you don't get stream sniped all the time uh because like people will know what your outfit looks like and then you know they just charge at you and only shoot you and then Ethan responded with this or just making you appear as a default bad business character would work out. So I don't think we're going to be getting randomized outfits anytime soon. An in-game chat tag next to our username. So like, you know, alpha, VIP, and then content creator. And then, you know, your username. This should be able to toggle off when you want if you just want to play like a normal game without being recognized all the time. Content creators may be a bit too long, so maybe it'll just be CC, you know, for like next to like content creator's name. And then Ethan said sure to that, so I guess that may be coming out in next week's update. Next is content creator outfits. So like maybe we get like, I don't know, to pick out like a shirt or whatever for us. That would be like pretty cool. And Ethan responded with maybe stuff like this takes time and we can't do it if y'all keep forcing new CCs into the chat, which there are a lot of people getting their content creator role in the Bad Business Discord right now. So I do agree with Ethan here that it would take a lot of time considering how many content creators are getting the role and then also content creator gun skins which i think would be pretty epic and uh ethan just said basically the same answer as by the content creator outfits and then a content creator universal charm so it's like the premium charm that you get and that the content creator should get one like it and ethan just said flat out no to that which i mean i do kind of agree with like why would we really need like a universal charm it doesn't really make sense content creator stickers you know stickers for the content creators kind of like the charms but stickers and Ethan responded with the same thing he's responded to for the content creator outfits and the content creator gun skins. And then anti-kick so that people don't kick us for no reason and we instead, and instead it reverse kicks them. If I'm just a random player and I want to kick out like, I don't know, Juke or something, and I try and vote kick him, and it, it, it'll initiate the vote kick on themselves and not Juke. And Ethan said maybe to that, so that might be coming, which I don't really think we need this too much since people don't really- I, I've never gotten really kicked before. Uh, so I don't really think we need this. Maybe for some other content creators that are, are a lot better and get kicked a lot, this would be pretty useful. But for me, I don't think I, I personally really need this. Next up was asked if we could get some free credits because if you guys don't know, like, I said this in my MP5 video that it takes about six hours to grind a gun to level 45, not even the max level, which is, if you ask me, way too long. And so maybe if we got, like, free credits, you know, we could, like, buy attachments or something. And Ethan responded already spoke about this in chat, so... We're probably- we're most likely not getting free credits, and the alternative to this would be getting, like, an alt account that has everything unlocked. All attachments, all guns, so that we don't need to spend, like, a ton of time unlocking that stuff. And, and also on our main account, it keeps us grinding the game and not just completely giving up on it. I think it'd be cool to, uh, have an alt account that has everything unlocked. And also, by the way, if you guys are thinking that we just start using this and destroying people, no, this is for- video and streaming purposes only is when we would use that account so i mean i don't know what do you guys think about us getting like an alt account so that we can so that we can make more frequent setup videos access to the green skin meaning like you get like a green gun skin or something like that like a green screen skin so that you can just i don't know make it look funny in a video and this idea is for revamping grenades in the game this is a bit longer but i'll read through it majority of grenades are too effective in hurting slash impairing players grenades can be cooked and thrown for very cheap kills instead of instantly dying just because you're in range of the grenade, maybe have a blast radius where the grenade cannot instantly kill you. Flashbangs are very stingy. Players should be rewarded for hiding slash looking away instead of being punished for just being in the same room, which I, I completely agree because flashbangs, if, one, if somebody throws a flashbang on the ground next to the wall you're at and it blows up, it'll be like you were standing right next to it, which 
that kind of sucks, man. Like, you should be rewarded for, like, hiding behind cover or something where it doesn't flash you. Molotovs shouldn't instantly give damage like the stick grenades, which instantly explode on impact. Instead, the fire must spread. It'll either do more damage over time the longer you stay in it, or maybe the longer the Molotov is active, the more damage it will do. I personally, I don't agree with this. You know, it should do a bit of damage. Like, it, it, all it does is 20 damage right now when it hits somebody, which is not a lot, like, at all. And I think it is 7 damage per tick. And I think the Molotovs are actually in a good spot right now. If, if I wanted to change anything about them, it would be how long they last. Maybe like minus 3 seconds or something like that. And Ethan simply replied with not a fan. Which I can kind of get from his perspective. Like, this isn't exactly something like CS where, you know, where like every kill, every tick of damage matters. It's a respawn game where you respawn within 3 seconds. So I don't think stuff like this is very much important or should be nerfed. Interactive maps. I like to see something new instead of players just running around and jumping. We can change pacing mid-game like pressing a button to close a gate or being able to open and close doors. Environmental destruction would be nice, but I know that people playing this game don't have computers that can handle that. I plan on getting into map making in Roblox so maybe I might show what I mean later. My whole opinion on this is it shouldn't be really in a game like Bad Business, maybe for like a slower paced game, but closing a door or something like that would have to be very very fast because someone is just gonna like run if someone's like chasing you they're gonna be able to slide under that door easy peasy although i do like the idea i don't think this is the game for that type of stuff and ether responded with performance issues limit this map design as well so maybe it'll come in the future with like some new maps but i personally don't think it'll ever show up in bad business update older maps balancing and some nicer textures notably arena and rocket facility ether replied with slowly working on it so we might be getting an arena and rocket facility revamp soon, which will be pretty epic. New game modes. The current pool has gotten stale over time. They're also working on that. And it is confirmed that we are getting free for all soon. I don't exactly know when, but soon we are getting free for all. Spawn revamp v2. The new spawn system is more random slash luck based than fair at the moment. Even the older spawn system was fairer than the new spawn system. Chris291 suggested that the reasons why we have these ffa like spawns is because of the spawn placements across the map if we can change the spawns to be safer for both teams we might not even need spawn protection at all which spawn protection was a pretty good idea but that but that idea would only work in set team spawns which was the original system it is frustrating to see someone spawn in front of you and then to have them take advantage of their protection by gunning you down. Spawn protection should also instantly go away when the player fires a bullet or swings their melee. I 100% agree with this, by the way. Like, <laughs> spawn protection is so annoying. Sometimes, like, a dude spawns right behind you or something, or in front of you, and you, you laser him, you know, you get those, like, four or five headshots, and it does no damage at all, and they just, you know, after missing ten shots, just shoot you and kill you. And Ethan also replied with working on it, so we might be getting a new spawn revamp soon. Customizable HUD slash UI. Maybe someone wants to play their game with no HUD, which you can already do if you press F5, by the way. Maybe somebody wants to resize their health bar and put it somewhere nice. Being able to freely move the UI from place to place, making parts of it transparent or a different color would make the game feel more comfortable to some players. There are plenty that I know that even find the hill and their teammates' he headings annoying. We already have invisible arms, why not have the whole set and lose the gun while we're at it? I wouldn't mind paying to do this, just how I didn't mind paying for a custom decal crosshair. I don't really agree with this, to be honest. I don't think a lot of players want, like, a whole HUD revamp. I mean, I don't know about you guys, let me know in the comment section, do you guys want, like, a whole HUD slash UI revamp? Revamp so that you guys can, like, move the stuff wherever you want it to? And Ethan's response to this was, you can already play with no HUD, not planning on adding in full custom HUD for the game. Mobile will get custom control placement though, which I think is good. Mobile should get that, but like for PC, it's it's not really worth it. Then red suit, all right, for real though, let, just to make the normal suit skin red. And yes, this comes from Xylek, the red lover. And uh, Ethan responded with okay, so maybe in this week's shop update, we get a red default skin. Customizable site reticles. So maybe this will be like a game pass or, I, or maybe he just means like the color of the sites but Ethan responded with maybe to this. MP5 buff. Just take a damage buff and maybe a little fire rate, like maybe just 50 more. I'm gonna be 100% honest, I agree with this. Ethan says he doesn't need one really right now. It does, it really, really does. Like it's so underpowered. You need something like five headshots to kill someone, which is absolutely crazy. And I mean, considering that 
you get the G36C at level 10, and it shoots pretty much as fast as the MP5 and does and does more damage. It's just, I don't know, man. I think the MP5 definitely does need a fire rate buff or a damage buff. Content creator bundle. Since people were suggesting outfits and skins and whatnot for CCs, maybe each CC creator code gives three items, a weapon skin for a gun, the CCs choose with their logo on it. So I don't know, like if I picked like the MP5, for example, I could get like my logo on that and it'd be like purple or something. The CC's charm, I already have one, so I probably wouldn't get one if I ever got a pack or if this ever happened. But you know, for the people that don't have it, this would be pretty cool. And a piece of clothing, not a full outfit, but like, for example, if I ever were to get like a piece of clothing, it'd probably be like some epic mohawk or something, since that's all something I've always had on my character since I've been playing bad business. And Ethan responded with, I don't know, so I guess we don't really know either if it's coming to the game at all. Better spectate mode. The spectate mode right now is pretty good, but I would enjoy something a bit more. With BBRL Season 2 coming along, it would be nice to maybe have some cameras set up around the map at common fighting spots, or maybe people can run around the map spectating, but they're invisible and don't take damage if shot. Which I think would be pretty epic, but Ethan responds, we barely have a free camp mode for ourselves. This is extremely difficult to do and would take a, and would take a ton of resources. I don't know how likely it is we can get to this until other things are finished first. So this, if this ever comes, it's not coming in the near future, but I think it would be pretty cool for maybe like cinematics or, you know, better like BBRL season two gameplay. Free stuff, this is basically what I was talking about, like a, like an alt account that has everything unlocked. So, you know, Ethan responds with, I already spoke about this in the channel. Multi-kills. This is present in a lot of FPS games. You get say a double, triple, or quad kill and it will give you a little bonus points. And BB could give you like three to five credits when you get a certain amount of kills in quick succession. Points could also be given for kill streaks, something like every 10 kills without dying or something, just add more life to the game while playing it. I 100% agree with this, like, the kill system has been the exact same since the game came out. It does need a bit of a revamp and, you know, you know, you get you get that nice quad kill, you, you, you kind of want a bit of a bonus for it. And this is planned when redoing game modes and adding in score, so I guess this could possibly be coming this month or next month, which would be pretty awesome. Polishing. While Bad Business is a very polished game, some things do come to mind that could be improved. For one, in Gun Game, you can only use the Kabar as your secondary. I don't think you should be able to use something like Brass Knuckles that would give you a different advantage from the normal knife, so maybe just stuff like the Hunting Knife and Butterfly Knife and all the other knives that act the same as the Kabar. So basically just 75 damage and like the same rate of fire as the Kabar. Secondly, I was thinking when you reload your gun, you could see the bullets being loaded in. A, a good example of this is from a game called Games Unite Testing Place. While this isn't that important, it does add a lot of feeling that the devs work hard on their game, especially when it's done on Roblox. Those are a few examples I could come up with now, might have more in the future. I actually, I do agree with this that like, you know, shouldn't only be able to use the Kabar as a, as your knife in a gun game. So that would be pretty cool. And you know, when you reload your gun and see like the bullets being loaded in, that would actually add so much like just aesthetic to the game. Like that would, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I would definitely enjoy seeing something like that. And Ethan responded with K, so I, I guess it's coming to the game, maybe not. And that was everything in the Google Doc. And devs, if you're watching this right now, I had one more idea, would maybe be like for a randomizer and gun game that it randomizes the attachments you get on guns. Uh, cause that would also add a bit more life to the game, would be pretty epic. So yeah, let me know if you guys have any suggestions or ideas for the devs, cause then I could talk to the devs and it might be added into the game. So that's gonna do it for the video, be sure to smash that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.